Hi, welcome back to our channel. Once again, this is Genrox. For today's video, you are going to learn about the main functions of DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. And what are the two major functions of DNA? What does DNA stand for? What is DNA? Describe the structure of Watson Creek model of DNA. How do you describe the relationship between chromosomes, DNA, and the genes? The function of DNA is to store all the genetic information that an organism needs to develop, function, and to reproduce. As it part of biological instructions, manual found each of your cells. The instructions in DNA are written in a simple alphabet that has just four letters, which is A, T, C, and G. So, what does that mean? A stands for adenine, T stands for thymine, C stands for cytosine, and G stands for guanine. So, these are four letters that we call it bases. So, these are the bases of DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. These four molecules called nitrogenous bases that are part of larger molecules called nucleotide that forms the basic building block of DNA. The letters of the alphabet are really just an abbreviations or acronyms of those nitrogenous bases. All right? So the functions of DNA is tied to its structure which is very helpful to review in order to understand its function. As stated, the basic building blocks of DNA are nucleotides. These nucleotides are composed of 5 carbon sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. The sugars and phosphates link two nucleotides together to form its strand of DNA. When two strands of DNA come together, base pairs form between the nucleotides of each strand. So therefore, nitrogenous bases pair together in the following way. A. Adenine pair with thymine. C. Cytosine pairs with guanine. And those bases interact through weak bonds. That is what we call hydrogen bonding and that can be easily broken and reformed. So therefore, it is very important during DNA replication where the two DNA strands must be separated before being copied and important for a cell's ability to read and instruction found within the DNA. The bands between nitrogenous bases are essential to DNA, let us remember because these are formed by double helix structure which resembles a twisted ladder in which those base pairs form the rungs of the twisted ladder and the sugar phosphate strands form the sides. So guys, let us remember there is so much DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid in its tiny cells that it must be condensed farther to feed inside. The DNA is tightly coiled in structure called chromosomes. Now let us remember guys that humans typically have 46 chromosomes in each individual. And there is what we call a shared from each parent which is 23 chromosomes for male gamut and 23 chromosomes from female gamut. Alright? So how does DNA perform its function? So this is very important. The nucleotides with adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine act as four bases of a cell reads the instructions in the DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid with something called an RNA polymerase. This RNA polymerase separates the two strands of the DNA helix and copies the DNA of one strand into a molecule called 
RNA. RNA or ribonucleic acid is very similar to DNA, except that instead of thymine, it has uracil. So when RNA and DNA pair up, guanine pairs with cytosine and uracil pairs with adenine. The thymine of DNA still pairs with the A or adenine of RNA. While some of instructions stop at the RNA stage, most go on to additional steps. Those steps, the letters of DNA, are grouped into three-letter words, which are then recognized as full sentences called genes. This process can be illustrated in the following example. Like for example in nucleotides, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. Another three-letter words, we have ACT, adenine, cytosine, and thymine, cytosine, adenine, and thymine, and thymine, adenine, and guanine. All right, what is chromosome made up of? Our chromosome is made up of deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA and made up of proteins. However, only the DNA is the genetic material. Remember that. Hereditary information is stored in DNA. Gene is a length of DNA on a chromosome and it is a unit factor of heredity. As you might notice on that chromosomes, okay, based on that picture given, according to the Watson Creek model of DNA, the structure of DNA resembles a twisted ladder known as a double helix formation. Double helix formation. Each side of the ladder is made up of sugar, phosphate molecules. The rungs of the ladder are made up of paired molecules called nitrogen bases. Now take note, as I've explained earlier, there are four different bases in DNA. These are adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. Now look at this example, the image below which is given as a model from Watson Creek. So these are composed of sugar phosphate serve as their backbone and the nitrogen bases which is adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine are serves as their bases, all right? The order of these four bases forms the language that tells the cell what proteins to manufacture Many substances in our cells are made with the aid of enzymes, and all enzymes are proteins. So therefore, by determining the types of enzymes that are produced, the genes determine the organisms according to its own characteristics and traits, even from the animals or human beings. A complete strand of DNA can be millions of base pairs long. Therefore, a DNA molecule can determine thousands of proteins. DNA supplies the information necessary for cells to reproduce. It is also responsible for determining the traits of a person. A DNA often contains code for diseases that are hereditary means to say this is passed through from one family from first generation to the next generation it passed from parent to the offspring or children dna is also important for researchers who determine the role of genes that play in a complex diseases such as cancer diabetes and heart diseases to summarize, what are the two major functions of DNA? DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid serves two important cellular functions. Here they are. 
It is a genetic material passed from one parent to the offspring, and it serves as the information to direct and regulate the construction of the proteins necessary for the cell to perform all its functions. Now, next question. What is DNA for? Deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA is a molecular that contains the instructions of an organism's needs to develop, live, and reproduce. These instructions are found inside in every cell which can be developed into tissues, from tissues to organs, from organs to organ systems, and it will be fully grown as a certain or particular organisms. And commonly, we can call it, especially for those organisms belong to animals or humans that pass down from one parent to their children or from one animal organism to its offspring. Let us all remember that DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid is a nucleic acid that contains the genetic instruction for the development and function of living things. All known cellular life and some viruses contain DNA. The main role of DNA in the cell is the long-term storage of information.